Our first community conversation, we're joined by Joanna Jennings, Director of Community Relations at Region 10. She's sitting down with Aaron. Good to see you again, Joanna. Thanks for coming in. Good to see you. Thank you so much. So it's hard to believe it's already November, which means Thanksgiving is right around the corner. You know, Black Friday, Christmas, New Year's, all the holidays. And it's the most wonderful time of the year, but depending on who you ask, it also might be the most stressful time of the year. Right. So what are some things people should keep in mind when it comes to easing stress around the holidays? Yeah, as we head into a busy holiday season, we're also coming out of a pretty contentious and stressful election cycle. Uh, many people in our community are feeling the impacts of that. And so we've heard from a number of people who have said, Holiday, holiday gatherings might look a little different this year. And so uh, that can create a lot of feelings, especially anxiety. Um, so one of the main things that we can do is to start planning ahead and being thoughtful about any boundaries that we might want to put in place. Right, and speaking of um, boundaries, what are some ways that people can set boundaries with you know, family and friends? Boundaries are so important. They can also be sometimes challenging to, to put in place. Right. Um, one of the main things is uh, saying no to anything that drains our internal resources. And saying no is hard, but you know, you've heard the phrase, no is a, a complete sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, you also wanna take some space from uh, any people, places, or things that can be triggering. So really limit your interactions with with those triggering things and give yourself permission to take some space away from them. Uh, and then talking about our experiences honestly and respectfully, one tool that we can use for that is making I statements. So an example would be, when you do this, I feel this, or when this happens, I react this way, or I feel this. Uh, and then lastly, just making sure that you're addressing problems directly with the person that's involved as opposed to the third party because you really don't want to have that sort of triangulation because that just makes the whole situation worse. Right. That makes sense. And what are some other practical ways that we can de-stress? Uh, well, we definitely want to find ways to promote safety and connection because we know that those are really big things to help people feel a sense of calm, help them to feel less stressed. And when we say safety, what we're talking about can be um, physical, it can be emotional safety. We also want to reduce or eliminate even our social media use. And I love social media, so this is a hard one, I know. <laughs> Uh, but there's just a lot of really unhelpful and negative energy on social media right now. Yeah. So trying to cut back or just taking a break altogether is, is highly recommended. And then also finding ways to stay present. Um, and we know that the antidote to anxiety is staying present. So find ways to stay in the present moment because then your brain is less likely to spin out into the future. Right. That makes sense. All right. Well, those are some great tips for this time of year. Hopefully people are able to implement those tips and have, you know, ha happy holidays. Yes, indeed. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Joanna, for coming in today. Good to see you. Good to see you, too.